Hello Gainers, welcome to my channel called Fitter Philosophy. I'm the host, Ralphie, and what I'm doing is providing a little bit of YouTube content to give the benefit of my experience in life by um, bringing together the, the abstract and academic concept of Stoic philosophy and actually connecting it with the real world, real life and real life experience. And my subject today is stupidity. We are all stupid to a certain degree. Everybody does stupid things. Um, the smart people learn from the stupid things and hopefully the stupid things aren't too serious. But this ties in with a video I did recently called Weakening Your Weaknesses. If we can weaken the influence of stupidity on our personal lives, it gives us a huge, right, I'll go, I'll say that again, huge advantage uh, over many people around us. Uh, because when you observe the human condition, all humans inevitably do stupid things in the form of mistakes or in the form of repeat stupidity, having not learnt the first time round. And unfortunately, some people are prone to going through life completely underachieving and getting very little from the experience because they are routinely and repetitively stupid. They strengthen their weaknesses because they're not learning from the activity, the feedback, the consequences, the results of being stupid. And being stupid can be tripping yourself up with lies, um, being too opinionated without thinking about it first, because at the end of the day we should say what we mean and mean what we say, and if we say what we don't mean to say, that is stupid, that is a weakness, and if we're not learning from it, we're only making it worse. We can be stupid in that we can be taking excessive risks. We can grow too much confidence too soon and be too self-empowering um, with comf becoming more comfortable with risk until we completely wipe out, whether it be gambling or whether it be extreme sports. It can destroy us. It can, in fact, kill us. That's the extreme end of stupidity. Um, and it's extreme that people are, are not nervous about risks and not finding the balance. That's the skill, it's finding the balance, knowing that we can be stupid, but the more we're aware of the risks of our own stupidity, the more we can kind of measure it more better, measure it better and become more successful in life because often people who are successful in life are the ones who are risk takers, who are in fact gamblers, but it's the skill of the calculation. In other words, they know what stupidity is, they know their weaknesses, they also know their strengths and know their sensibilities, which is the opposite of the stupidity, it's sensibility. And I'll do a video on that later. And they, they, they manage to walk the tread, walk the tightrope in such a way that they reap the rewards which people living more ordinary and safer lives would not, would not achieve. For example, running your own successful business, or being a successful musician, um, or being an athlete. The athlete that can jump the bit higher, that can kick the football a little more cleanly and accurately that can lob a tennis ball over a net a little bit faster and a little bit more precise and a little bit more instinctively. And you find that as time goes on, one of the things you notice with stupid people who don't learn is that they're out of, out of control of instinctive actions. Whereas people who have learned over the years, particularly in early years from stupidity, making mistakes, uh, are, are much more skillful at empowering instinctive reaction or cautioning instinctive reaction rather than just letting it go out there. It's really, really useful, and I'm going to conclude with this, it's really, really useful to find someone near you who's really stupid and routinely doing stupid things and just examine their lives 
examine how, despite any advantage they might have, how they routinely cripple themselves, sabotage themselves, undermine themselves in relationships, at work, in sports, in recreation, throughout their life. The, the self-inflicted damage of those who have not taken the time to learn about themselves and as a result their stupidity time and time again just brings them down. When we observe these people closely we know ourselves better because in a sense they're a mirror although a distorted mirror a mirror reflection of our own parallel circumstance because everybody's trying to get by in the world but some people seem to do so much better and some people seem to so to do so much worse and do you know what it could all come down to their knowledge of stupidity the self-knowledge of being stupid making stupid decisions doing stupid things and importantly knowing when it's happening and avoiding it I'm Ralphie, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.